Do you surrender unto me? What will happen? Aham tuang sarva paap. I'll free you from all sin. Ma Don't worry. It's just the constitutional position of the soul to be surrendered to Krishna. So, uh, then we dealing with the point that as long as one's mind remains an unconquered enemy, one has to serve the dictations of lust, anger, avarice, illusion, etc. Now, remember we are living with this enemy of lust. Mm -hmm. Remember in the third chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna say where this enemy is situated, where the enemy is situated? Mind, intelligence. Senses. Indriyani, Mano, Bodhir. Senses, mind, mind, mind and, intelligence. and intelligence. The enemy has captured these different important departments of the self. The enemy. Lust. So imagine you growing up, you don't I mean, I must say, even as a devotee, for many, many years, when people used to speak about me and my mind, and I, I'm telling my mind, I used to kind of get confused. What are you talking about, you know, me and my mind? So read the Bhakti Siddhanta, you know, the rare Vishnu, where, where Bhakti Siddhanta is speaking about the voice of the pure soul. That mind who is going down with the false ego, that is not you. That is reinforcing the mind that is wants to go down with anything that is not for Nitya Krishna Das, for you, the sole eternal servant of Krishna. Serving Krishna and whatever with Krishna, that is you, the pure spirit soul. But that contaminated mind siding up with the false ego, as Prabhupada say, it will get into the loss, anger will be there, illusion will be there. So we have to be meditating, controlling, look. My mind wants to go this way. My mind wants to take me this way. For Krishna conscious practice means thoughts, words, and deeds applied in Krishna's service. Do things in this way. So it is the Guru, Sadhu, and Shastra. In fact, that's the last point. The real yoga, real yoga practice entails meeting the Paramatma within the heart and then following his dictation. For one who takes the Krishna consciousness directly, perfect surrender to the dictation of the Lord follows automatically.